we tap in the neurotransmitters in our brain that are responsible for our anxiety. You know when you're feeling nervous right before a pitch and someone says, calm down? And you want to, you want to like, okay? I, I, I kick box, so just be prepared. <laughs> you want to give them a left hook. Because you can't go from anxiety to calm. Because it's like being in the penthouse and then going down to the basement. That the set of neurotransmitters that are responsible for anxiety are what's called excitatory, excitable neurotransmitters, like dopamine and norepinephrine, and the ones that allow us to be calm are serotonin. So instead of jumping from, what I'm gonna say to you is stay where you are. Be nervous, but reframe it. Instead of imagining the pitch, imagine winning them over in the pitch. And say to yourself three times, there's research to show this, right before you give the pitch, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. And if you get to a place, because vision is really important, I talked about that in my TED Talk too, that we imagine where we want to be, it's called target fixation. Think about uh, an aerial tight rope walker. The second they look down is the second they fall. So you want to be focused on where you're headed and they do target fixation with high speed chase training for police officers and for military. And they always say if you're just about to crash, focus on the horizon. And if they focus on the horizon, they don't crash. So when you're going into that pitch and you have my blog title right there, Taylor, say I'm excited. And then just, I'm excited. That's why I'm wearing combat boots. I am excited. Vance, I've worn them since the 80s. I'm excited. And you'll stay at that height. You're gonna. You're already there with dopamine and epinephrine. And you'll walk in there and you're just, when, when it comes to mind, Taylor, and you're gonna pace yourself. So when you're in there, like use your feet and just imagine I'm pacing myself, like I'm grounding myself. Now that's a 